Hello all, Project Wargaming here with uh, little projects that I've been working on this this week. So, been messing around with resin mixes, and I have discovered through some other YouTube channels that there's some resins out there that you can actually mix together to get you some pretty good uh, results when it comes to your your casting resin or your your uh, 3D printing resin, not casting. Um, so the the reality is, is that it doesn't make it stronger. It actually makes it a little bit more flexible. Um, so that's what I have here. I've been playing around with these quite a bit. And these are just uh, samurai weapons that I've I've put onto a sprue just to, to play around with it. But you can sit here and play with this quite a bit. Uh, quite a bit more than what what you used to be able to with just straight Elegoo uh, ABS-like uh, printing resin. Um, you can still break them. There's no doubt about that. Um, but it is a lot harder. You can, I mean, you can fully bend that thing all the way down and it still wants to return. So, you know, that's, that's pretty good, really. Uh, this one, you can see I've already bent it down, so maybe it'll break, but... Not quite, but you can see just way more flexibility when it comes to these weapons and these smaller parts, uh, which is great. Uh, I'm really happy with with how these are looking. So I have printed off a, a test strip here. You can see I've broken some of the bigger ones, but in these smaller ones, you know, the more you get, the, there's there's kind of a sweet spot there um, where they don't tend to want to break. Um, at a certain size, they, they definitely have more flex in them. So that's, uh, what I've been messing around with. I've tried some of my, uh, knights and been happy with, with how they're, they're looking, um, just seems to be way more durable and whatnot, but the model themselves isn't flexing too much. It's just, uh, the weapons. So that's a great thing. So what this is is let me uh, kind of adjust this so you can get a, a little bit better view all it is is a mix of two types of resin so soraya tech is this new resin that i've been messing around with the tenacious is the one that you're looking for this is definitely more expensive than just straight up elegoo uh printing resin uh, they also soraya tech also makes uh their own just standard gray kind of resin i think it's called fast and it's actually a little bit cheaper than elegoo so you you can obviously mix soraya tech stuff together but so far i've had okay luck mixing um the the, the elegoo resin with this as well so what you do is and you got to get this right because i i didn't get this right when i first tried it but it is um three parts well it's three parts uh the regular resin to one part uh, Soriatech Tenacious. So 25% of this and 75% of this. And this is enough to just give this a little bit more flex. And so I'm gonna play around with it, play around with the, the levels. Most of the guys that I've seen using this are using them for 28 millimeter miniatures. So 25% works just fine for them. I'm wondering if a little bit higher percentage is, is better for the six millimeter scale but i don't know i wouldn't use this mix if i was going to like print houses and stuff like this but i think this is a great mix for making miniatures um so it just gives you enough flex and it seems to make the miniatures way more durable so anyways kind of excited to to play around with that but wanted to share that with you there's plenty of other videos and better videos out there about how and how to go about doing this um but uh, yeah, I've had good luck so far. So we'll talk to you later.